Cthulhu, H.P. Lovecraft's Elder Gods. What did they look like? Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi, and we're going to take a look at uh, artist interpretation of the Elder Gods uh, in the Lovecraft cycle of stories. Uh, Cthulhu, Azathoth, Nycleratops. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the names right. I'm probably not because they're really tongue twisters. But uh, what are these ancient uh, creatures, elder beings look like? Well, and we're going to look at a few books that, um, that give you an idea of what they look like. And uh, just going to take a look now. Uh, the, one of them is from Door Book 213 from uh, 1976, The Disciples of Cthulhu. Uh, giant winged creatures with tentacles and all kinds of uh, squid-like octopus, octopedal beings. Uh, Tales of the Lovecraft Mythos from 2002 uh, has all different writers writing in the uh, 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 Cthulhu Mythos stories. Lovecraft encouraged other writers to write in his, um, in his genre of, uh, of horror, and uh, they, they did, and it was a great fun thing. And this shows Lovecraft's face with the tentacled creatures. Uh, and here it's, it's, it's just like the amazing, amazing look. Uh, Cthulhu's Reign, which is a door book from uh, 2010, uh, is a, another anthology of stories by, by writers. Uh, here you have giant tentacled creatures, squid-like beings, which is something that's always shown uh, in, the, uh, in the images. So there's many different images, but... Uh, there's also, there's two British books, Grafton from 1988. These are both by August Derleth, The Mask of Cthulhu and The Trail of Cthulhu. And uh, these two books have, uh, two books have uh, cover art by Tim White, did both covers. And gives you an idea of the horror and the creatures that, um, Lovecraft had in his Cthulhu Mythos stories. Now, there's also a book, H.P. Lovecraft, The Mysterious Man Behind the Darkness, which I'm going to show you just for a quick look. This is from 2015. It's a nice hardcover book. Lovecraft with all these creatures and things, monsters, squid-like, octopus, tentacled beings. Um, one of the interesting things is there's some of the um, from some of the films they show you some of the uh, what what these creatures looked like and there's always like people trying to interpret what they look like because as far as like Lovecraft's writing they always have this strange look to them uh, and then the films the Dunwich Horror and Die Monster Die kind of give you an idea of Again, with the squidly, tentacled creatures. Now, that's Lovecraft. So I always wondered, what, what did Cthulhu look like? Or what did Lovecraft's monsters look like? And, uh, of course, you know, you, you never know. Uh, there's many descriptions and many stories. But... Actually, it's not that difficult because uh, when me and my wife went to Wegman's supermarket today, we actually saw the Lovecraftian creatures uh, in a, uh, I guess you'd call it exotic fruit. So here we're going to take a look at two of them now. Here we go. Now, I don't know, it's Cthulhu. This is maybe uh, Azathos. This is a horned fruit. And my wife painted a, a, a face, a mouth on it, which it's, uh, it's supposed to have a giant maw to, to, to devour all the light and darkness of the world. And it has eyes and um, she painted on two eyes onto, onto this one. 
which is like a very Cthulhu uh, tentacle squid-like being. And you can see here underneath, it's very squidly, very, very squidly, very weird kind of, this is an actual fruit. These are not things that made up. This is in the supermarket. I saw these and I went like, what the heck is this? Also, this is prickly uh, all the way around. So uh, there's a new version of Lovecraft's Cthulhu Mythos right in your own supermarket. Actually, now, what are these? Because I always, you know, says, what are they? So this one here is actually called Buddha's Hands or a fingered citron. It's common in Asia. And actually, it symbolizes happiness, wealth, and longevity, even though it doesn't look like it, but uh, that's what it is. And the, uh, this little darling here is a kawano, or a horned melon. It's originally from Central Africa, and it's a sweet, uh, actually, has, they, they say it has a sweet cucumber taste. We haven't opened it up yet to, to tr try a sampling. I'm a, I'm a little afraid of if there's any, anything in there in the Cthulhu mythos that might pop out. But, uh, but there you have it. Uh, I, when I saw these in the, in the, in the supermarket in Wegmans in the uh, fruit and vegetable section, I says, this is very odd and very strange. I says, this is uh, right out of uh, Lovecraft's Cthulhu mythos. And uh, to see something like that uh, manifesting itself in a fruit or, uh, or a vegetable is, uh, I don't know, maybe it is apropos. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I just hope, I thought this would be an interesting kind of little uh, little thing to uh, to for the holidays and I uh, want to thank you all for looking I hope you enjoyed this look at uh, Cthulhu Among Us and uh, give us a thumbs up subscribe and uh, thanks for looking see you next time <laughs>